Welcome to our lecture, NAFTA Intracompany Transfer. NAFTA Intracompany. Transferees must be transferred to Canada on a temporary basis in order to work for a branch, subsidiary, or affiliate of their U.S. or Mexican employer. In addition, they must have worked continuously for the U.S. or Mexican employer for at least one of the last three years in a similar position to the work being done in Canada and be employed by the company at the time of application. A NAFTA intra-company transferee must work in a capacity that is considered managerial, executive, or involving a specialized knowledge. For general information on intra-company transferee, including those covered under NAFTA, you need to check the website of the Government of Canada. Now, what are the requirements? This type of work permit facilitates the movement of employees from a company in the United States or Mexico to a Canadian branch, affiliate or subsidiary parent of the company located outside of Canada. This NAFTA work permit is designed to facilitate the transfer of knowledge from a senior manager or an employee with specialized knowledge abroad to the employees working for the Canadian business. Provided that the applicant was on the payroll of the foreign company for a period of at least one year in the three years prior to the application in a managerial or senior position or a specialized knowledge employee and offered the same position in Canada, they will qualify for this type of NAFTA work permit. Transferee categories. There are several categories in this work permit. The first one is executive. It's an employee who primarily directs the management of the enterprise or a major component thereof. Senior managerial, an employee who manages all or part of the enterprise and supervises controls the work of other managers or professional employees. Specialized knowledge, an employee who can demonstrate specialized knowledge of the enterprise product or service or an advanced level of expertise in the enterprise processes and procedures. The ICT Startup Program. This program allows key staff members of a foreign business to travel to Canada on a temporary basis to open a new office and begin doing business. Applicants must demonstrate their co company's ability to become established in Canada. They must provide documentation that shows that the company can financially support a startup operation. They will also have to outline plans for staffing and doing business in Canada and prove that they have secured or are in the process of securing physical premises. Categories. Categories on the program, of course, are executive managerial. The company must demonstrate that it is large enough to support an executive managerial function or specialized knowledge. The company must show that the employee's knowledge is proprietary and is essential to startup operations. The ICT startup work permit duration. The program provides a one-year temporary work permit. Renewal of this permit is conditional and depends on the company fulfilling three major factors. The Canadian or foreign companies must maintain a qualifying relationship, branch, subsidiary or affiliate of the foreign employer. Both the new Canadian office and the foreign employer must have engaged in the continuous provision of goods or services for the past year and the new office must have been a staff. And these are the conditions to meet under the ICT startup work permit program. This is the end of the lecture and thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.